In this example, we are going to assume that the Earth is a black body and we want to estimate the temperature at the surface due to the radiation of the Sun. The diameters of the Sun and the diameters of the Earth are given. Also, it is given the distance in between the center of the Sun to the center of the Earth. So the first thing to solve this uh, problem is to make a balance of energy in the Earth. So for the Earth, we have to consider the energy in is equal to the energy out. The energy in is given by the irradiation from the Sun. And assuming that this is the radiation from the Sun, and this is the Earth, the total energy that is receiving is distributed in this area and this is the projected area of the sun of the of the earth so this is a circle so the energy in is given by the radiation of the sun multiplied by the area of the earth projected so that area is pi the diameter of the earth squared divided by 4 which is the area of a circle so the energy in is gs pi de squared divided by 4. Now we want the energy out. So for the energy out, assuming that it's, it's a black body, is given by the emission multiplied by the surface area. Now this area is the area of the sphere because the whole Earth is emitting at that temperature. The emission is sigma, this is a Stefan Boltzmann law, multiplied by the temperature of the Earth to the fourth and multiplied by the area. So that's going to be the energy out, the rate of energy out, so the total balance, energy in equal to energy out. We have Gs, the irradiation from the sun, multiplied by the area of the projected Earth, equal to sigma, the temperature to the four, multiplied by pi, the e square. So we can simplify five and solve for the temperature in the air. So temperature in the air to the fourth is equal to Gs. And what else can we simplify? We can also simplify the diameter of the earth square. Gs is divided by four and divided by sigma. So this expression is an expression for the temperature of the earth. We need now to compute the irradiation from the sun this irradiation coming from the sun. To compute the radiation from the sun that is reaching the earth, we need to make a balance of the energy from the sun. In order to achieve that, we are going to select a control volume that consists of the space in between the sun and the earth. We have two surfaces the internal surface that corresponds to the surface of the sun and the external surface that corresponds to an imaginary sphere centered at the sun and touching the earth. The length of the external radius is equal to the distance from the sun to the earth minus the radius of the earth. The energy that is coming into our control volume corresponds to the energy that is emitting the sun at given temperature. That whole energy is going out in the external surface of this big sphere and only a section of that energy is reaching the earth. So for the control volume in blue, this control volume, we have that the energy that is coming in the control volume is the energy corresponding to the temperature of the sun. That is, the energy emitted by the sun is sigma multiplied by 
the temperature of the sun to the fourth and multiply by the surface area of the sun and the energy out it will correspond to the external diameter and is equal to the radiation from the sun the radiation at this distance multiplied by the area of the external sphere and that's 4 pi multiplied by the radio of the big sphere is square the balance of energy energy in is equal to energy out and by replacing the corresponding expressions and replacing the corresponding areas we can simplify pi and pi and solve for the radiation of the sun at the external surface so we have gs equal to sigma multiplied by ts squared multiplied by the diameter of the sun square and divided by 4 times the external radio square when we replace the numerical values we obtain a power flux equivalent to 1377 watts per square meter with that radiation we are able to compute the temperature of the earth by using the equation product of the balance of the energy in the earth which was that the temperature of the earth square was equal to radiation of the sun divided by 4 times sigma replacing uh, the values and solving for Te so we have that the temperature in the earth is equal to the square root of 1377 watts per square meter and divided by 4 times sigma which is the uh, Stefan Boltzmann's constant so 5.67 10 to the negative 8 and that will give us a value of 279 Kelvin which is approximately um, 6 Celsius which is a little bit lower than the average of the temperature of the earth but it is a very standard temperature uh, of the earth so for example last week we have uh, um, 6 degrees in San Angelo